Hello everyone, this is Miss Hinaluk and today we're going to talk about cryptology. So these are the topics that we are going to cover, the definition of terms, the coding of text, and the decoding of text. So this is Gaius Julius Caesar. He is a Roman general and a statesman who played a critical role in the events that led to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. So Julius Caesar allegedly used a cyclical alphabetic encryption code to communicate with his generals. So the messages were encrypted using the congruency, congruence to P plus 3, mode modulo 26 so this is in modern notation so this was the code sent to his general so what do you think is his message so we're going to tackle this one and know what is the message that Julius has sent, has sent to his general so this is the importance of cryptology it secures information and communication using a set of rules that allows only those intended and no one else to receive the information to access and process it. So, ang um, cryptology maka secure siya sa information and send niya din siya maablihan sa ubang tao kung di, kung di sa ratoy mo ang isandan mo ratoy makabasa or makaabli. So, codes on books and grocery items are secret codes that are used to send messages between people, companies, or nations. So it is hoped that by devising a code that it is difficult to break, the sender can prevent the communication from being read if it is intercepted by an unauthorized person. So cryptology is therefore the study of making and breaking secret codes. So these are the definitional terms, the terms that we need to know for us to understand this topic. So plain text, this is the message before it is coded. For example, she walks in beauty like the night, so we can understand it right away. It is in plain text. Next is cipher text. This is the message after it has been written in code. So the above statement could be written to um, O D A S W H G O and so on and so forth. So this is now the coded um, text. So this is called the cipher text. The method of changing from plain text to cipher text is called encryption. And the um, and the decoding of message from uh, cipher text to plain text is called decryption. So I have here the plain text and the cipher text. So the line from the poem above was encrypted by substituting each letter in plain text with the letter that is 22 letters after the letter in the alphabet. So this is called a cyclical coding scheme because each letter of the alphabet is shifted the same number of positions. If we can see here sa baba of left, can in A, B, C, D, so we shift siya into 22 letters or 22 positions. So mo na ang W, D at bangan C, A. So mo na dayo ni ang mga D, C mong cipher text ang sa bottom. So these are the numerical equivalent of the letters of the alphabet. So A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, so on and so forth. And you can see here class, the last letter is Z. It's supposed to be 26, but kay nagtuyok-tuyok man ta, modular 26, so 26 automatically ma-0 na siya. Okay, so if the encrypting code is to shift each letter of the plain text message M, so M is the positions, then the corresponding letter in the cipher text is given by. This is now the formula that we're going to use. Um, the C congruent to the P plus M modulo 26. Where your P is the plain text, your C is the cipher text, and your M is the position. So the letter C is coded 0 because 26 equals 0 mode 26. So this makes sense. And also, this is 26, guys. The letter sa alphabet 26 man siya kabuo. This is an example of coding. So, let us code the word beauty. So, beauty is in plain text. So, ang kaning M equals 22. So, that really depends upon you. Um, if pila ka position ni mong shift. So, you decide what position it will be shifted. 
So this is in your for your uh, in your own discretion. So kani ang gihatag is ang m niya ang position is 22. So first is we're going to write here the word beauty and then let us see dayon nang iyahang equivalent diri sa iyahang numerical coding scheme sa letters. So B is 2, E is 5, A is 1, U is 21, T is 20, and Y is 25. Next is we're going to use the formula the C congruent to P plus M modulo 26. So here your P now, your P is this the plain text value ato nang nakitan which is 2. That next is the M plus M, the position which is 22, mod 26. So ato ra siyang is substitute. So this would be 2 plus 22 module 26. So that is, at, we're going to add 2 plus 22, that is 24, mode 26, that would be 24. Kay nga nung 24 man siya, class, so man siya mula pas of 26, so wala siya remainder, so 24 ra siya. Okay, next is, we have 5 na po ni salary E, 5 plus 22, mode 26, so that would be 27, mode 26, so Nilapas man si 27 ni 26. So, pwede ra na to siya. Mainusan na lang dahil sa 26. So, naa siya yung subra na 1. Next is, ang A is 1. So, 1 plus 22 mo 26. That is 23 mo 26. So, wak mo lapas sa so 26. So, the answer, yeah, the equivalent is 23. Next is 21 plus 22 mo 26. So, that is 43 mo 26. So, ni subra siya. Ang iyahang remainder is 17. Okay. Likewise, with the T, which is 20, and Y equals 20, is 25. So, pag solve na to sa ciphertext, T is 16, and Y is 21. So, next step is na naman tayong mga numbers diri na ito nang ship sa position at tumubalik na sa tagtanaw sa letters. So, tanaw na ito kin sa ika-24. So, ika-24 kay C, X. So, Atong iswap diri sa si X. Ang 1 kay A, 23 is W, 17 is Q, 16 is P, and 21 is U. So, now the coded text is X, A, W, Q, P, U. So, that's how you do the coding. Now, let's proceed to decoding the message. So let's decode the same text. So, in decoding the, the text, we're going to use this formula, which is the plain text congruence to the cipher text plus the position it was shifted which is n equals 26 minus m okay mode mode 26 so since uh last last slide we're using the 22 so ato ra siyang i minus as the position i minus na to siya sa 26 because there are 26 letters so n equals 26 minus 22 n would be 4 now, let us write the cipher text here, the X, A, W, Q, P, U, and look for the equivalent here in the alphabet, alphabet numerical. So, X is 24, A is 1, W is 23, Q is 17, P is 16, U is 21. And next uh, part is to um, solve the modulo of this number. So, we have 24 plus 4. So, ato rang i-substitute si C, 24. That is the cipher text value. N is 4. Atong na-solve dali sa babaw. Mode 26. So, 24 plus, 20, plus 4 is 28. Mode 26. So, si 28, um, isubra man siya. O 2. So, the remainder is 2 man. So, we're going to write 2 here. So, 1 plus 4. That is 5. Mode 26. So, 5. And so on, so on and so forth na lang. Class sa 1, 21, 20. You get the idea. So, mora gin na siya. Ato ara siyang i-solve ang mode niya. Nag-discuss naman ta sa tong previous lesson na ang purpose ra sa sa mag-solve tag mode is to get the remainder. ba? Okay. So, now, na naman tay plain text number, ato na sa mobile niya sa sa letters. So, si 2 kay letter B. So, atong iswat si B sa kilid. Next, we have 5 is E. And then, 1 is A. 21 is U. 20 is T. And 25 is 
why. So therefore, the plain text is beauty. So as long as you have the um, the position, it is easy for us to um, solve or decode uh, the ciphertext. So now let us solve the cipher of Caesar. So naman to siya gisan ko no siya hang general. So this is now um, his message. So ang iya hang gihata gato na clue class kay C is congruent to P plus three mode twenty six months. So kibota ang gihata gani is ang iya hang position. So the position M is three. So to decode this one ato ang i minus C. 3 from 26. So, to get the n. So, n equals 26 minus 3. So, our n now is 23. And we're going to use the n value to solve for the plain text. Okay. So, this is called decryption. So, let us write. Medyo taas taas raba ni siya. E H Z G U H. So, then out the letters. So, itong isuwat niya ang number kung ikapila siya sa alphabet. So, ang E5, H is 8, Z is 0, V is 4, U is 21, and H is 8. Next is, ato ada yung isolve ang iya hang mo, modul, modulo. Uh, mus, ang modular arithmetic. So, 5 plus 23, mode 26. So, 5 is from the ciphertext 5, 23 is from N. And 26, muna na itong gamitin because there are 26 letters. So, this is equals to 28. Mode 26, that is equals to 2. Okay, so, brush of 2. And then next is we have 8 plus 23 for letter H. 8 plus 23, mode 26, that is 31, mode 26. So, sobra gyapon si 31 sa 26. So, itong corner remainder which is 5. So, 0 plus 23, mode 26. 23, mode 26. So, delicious sobra is copy 23. 4 plus 23, mode 26. So, that is 27, mode 26 equals 1. 21 plus 23 mode 26, 44 mode 26 equals 8, and 8 plus 23 mode 26 is 31, mode 26 equals 5. So the statement is beware. Okay, so beware then ADHDDU. So the rest of the message, ato na lang i run through, I think you get the idea. So these are the rest of the message. Um, Beware, Matu first, so beware the Ides March. So, this is the decoded message of Caesar. Beware the Ides of March. So, class, so in ancient Rome, um, the Ides of March were equivalent to our March 15. So, in the Roman calendar, the date corresponds to several religious observances. So, the Romans considered the Ides of March as a deadline for setting that. So, another way nga nung isulti siya Ides of March kay um, inlon sila class na um, Julius Caesar was assassinated on the Ides of March, which is March 15. So, mauguro na siyang beware kay ma-assassinate siya. So now the practice exercises, kindly answer this one and then at the end of this lesson there is an, a, a solution you can check your work if you get the, the skill in coding and decoding the method. So this is now our performance test. So in my Facebook account, I will create a post regarding the activity for alphabetic encrypting code. Um, then, you are going to comment a coded message including the M value para dali ra ma-solve class. Don't forget to write your name, program year, section so for checking purposes. So, look for a comment with coded message from your schoolmates. So, pwede sa obang section class kay kailan na mag-in sa yung classmates no? Yun yung ipang-decode kasi yung mga schoolmates sa obang section. So, react hard to the, to that so that others will know that the coded message is already taken. And in the process of decoding. So, kung gana kayo sa code na ganahan, i-hard ng siyadaan para di na siya mailog sa uban. So, first come, first serve. After decoding, so you click reply and then you po comment the, uh, the solution and the decoded message. So, pwede ra siya i-hand So, I have here an example at the 
right side. So, muna siya inyo ha. Mau kintahay na akong gikikat sa makitabo sa inyong conversation. So, if the answer is correct, the owner will heart or reply to your answer and solution. So, only one person per comment. If the message is already decoded or hearted by others, look for other comments who are not yet decoded. So, avoid profanity or bad words class ha. So, pagmantay lang, di lang ta magamit og mga dili maayong mga words. Okay? Maximum of 3 to 5 words. So, you can use English words or what do like Bisaya words? Okay, so yung ana basta as long as mabasa siya. Okay, and then ma solve siya sa class. So that be all. Thank you so much for listening. And this is the end of our lesson for the course Mathematics in the Modern World. And thank you so much for your patience, your attention, and your um your perseverance in our online class. Um, see you pohon if mamalit na ta sa school but as of right now wala pa may um, balita so um, keep in touch lang class for the finals next week.